I'm doing an experiment of playing a solo mage on a new server, and I have no idea how far I will get. I'm setting a budget of 500 TCs to see how much it gets me. I am going to be pushing a bit for experience, but not too hardcore, and I'll try to just use the green stem every day. With that said, this is day 1. Right off downport, I headed Benor to pick up the quest for the light shovel, then headed into the adventurer's guild and grabbed my daily rewards for 20 mana potions, but also to use my free travel as well as to get to Ecclesius to pick up his daily task, which is just to kill 3 bats on the attic. When you do that, make sure to not kill the cat or else he won't give you the task for 30 days. After dealing with the bats, report the mission and get 200 GP. He has a few more daily tasks for 100 to 200 GP, but I only did this one. After that, I used the service Mancharos to use one of the free travels and head to Casterdun. Buy a parcel beforehand and then this quest is even easier as you can just do one dwarf at a time. I also got two copper shields from them which is another 100 gold. Once again, use the service of Charos to return to Benor and deliver the beer for the quest. By doing this, I already have 1.6k gold to start, but there was still more I could do. I went to Isabi to ask for a mission from Meshea. With that, I'm allowed to enter the ambassador's building to check for the daily drop on the shelf, but somebody had picked it up already. A few times a day, that gets refreshed and there will be an inkwell which can be sold for 720 GP right here in Isabi to the librarian and also a crystal ring and a silver brooch which is another 400 GP to Rashid when I'm able to trade with him. The last thing was to head to the southwest temple to get my chance on the seashell there. If lucky, it gives a giant pearl which is worth 3k. This can be done every 20 hours and if it is open, then it will close again after 5 to 10 minutes. I did get the pearl, so with that I had 4.5k gold of starting money. Which I'm not gonna use just yet since I explained on my tips for new server video that it's better to buy supplies with TCs. Here I spent 50 tibia coins on ones to train, which is not necessary but it gives a better start. Those ones got me from magic level 9 to 40, and here I spent 11 TCs, 6 on getting 125 manas, and also a gold converter. Gold converters is something that I didn't mention on my tips for new servers, but they're also very cost efficient, especially if you don't have the cap to loot gold. I then went to honey the ghostlands because the skeleton warriors were boosted, and this is one of the best places for them. Luckily, I was able to get the spawn I wanted and hunted here until level 15, which took me about 30 minutes. And by the time I left, I had made a bit of profit from my hunt and also a loot bag to get a little bit more. Once I was done selling, I had 5.7k in gold and maybe 1k in creature products. I spent 3k in only necessary spells, cure poison, magic rope, magic shield, cancel magic shield, flame strike, and energy strike. Then I headed to Casterdun and bought a ticket. My plan was to stay on the first dwarf cave because it has an extension that was added to the first floor, which has a better respawn rate to the other caves. But also it has a chest that gives one iron ore, which is 500 gold. Unfortunately, the spawn was taken, so I went to the cave in Cormaya instead. I was able to get this cave for myself and hunted here until level 19. The great thing about this spawn is that it's very profitable at the start of a server because of the Dwarven Shields and Crossbows. This will sell quick on the market for higher than NPC price, but there is also other drops that are great to make a loot back of. After selling most of it, I had 7k in gold. Then I tried another spawn that is found in Abedendriel and is a dynamic spawn, which means it changes every day to one of these four options. Any of them would have been good for me, with the exception of Loth Dwarfs, since those are for level 100s. In the Rourke version, it would have been good for Obsidian Lances and Orcish Axes. Cyclops would have been good for experience and loot bags, and then when I got the Forest Furies, was a decent option for gold, and if lucky, I could have looted at Elvish Bow, which is very good money on a new server. Unfortunately, I didn't get it, and I also ended up losing money, but experience was fine and nobody came. By now, I was at 2 hours of stamina use and level 22 and ended up using my last hour to get to 25 in a spawn that I'm very optimistic for, the Mammoth Shearing Factory. This is on a Spargrant and it has mammoths, elephants, frost giants and witches. All of them are good for gold drop but also have a few good item drops. Additionally, I picked up the task for mammoths to slowly work on it, to eventually do the boss which is good profit too. The goal of this spawn is to get tusks from elephants and also a bag of apple slices from the witches which I got in my first hunt and I'm hoping it sells on the market while I'm offline. I finished my first date at level 25 using just 3 hours of green stamina. During the day, I spent 23 TCs. 
in potions and the gold converter, plus the 50 of the ones to train. But at the end of the day, I had about 12k without selling part of my loot, which might put me at 15k, and with that, I bought back 25 TCs, which will have covered the supplies I used. Also, I still have to do the desert quest, which is another 10k that I will put towards my next 25 TCs. But that was the end of my day, and with that, I'll end this video. On the first day, I did a lot more than I thought, so I find it enough content for one single video, but I might do the follow up videos for two days or more. Let me know in the comments how your first day on the server went and hope you come back to future videos as well. Thank you for watching and until next time.